And hello everyone, thanks for joining me on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. Today, where am I? This is a unique place. More like in the backyard where we live. We're in Townsend, Tennessee, and I'm going to show you something really unusual, and I think you're going to like it. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And thank you for staying with us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And today I'm in Townsend, Tennessee, and here for several reasons. Uh, one, for the food truck fest that is going on here at the Little Arrow Outdoor Resort. Probably never heard of it, but you're going to wish that you knew about this before, especially if you're a camper, whether you have a motorhome, an RV, or a travel trailer, or you want to camp in a tent, or you want to rent a cabin, or you want to do some glamping. This is the place, Little Arrow Resort. This is a great place. Let me show you. Now here is the main billboard that you see as you just enter into Little Arrow Outdoor Resort. And this place is tucked away in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. A little Arrow Campground Resort is surrounded by miles of majestic wilderness and packed with exciting activities and luxurious accommodations. Now these accommodations have been thoroughly designed with perks like wood-burning fireplaces, plush bedding, spacious design, and more to meet your unique needs. They have RV sites, camping, uh, cabins, glamping tents, um, they've got um, tidy tents, tiny homes, air streams. Escaping your own little wilderness retreat has never been easier than it is right now at Little Arrow Outdoor Resort. Lots of things going on here. They also have um, lodging op options like vacation homes, tiny homes, cabins, glamping tents, airstreams. You're very near all sorts of restaurants like Elvira's, Big Fatty's Catering, First Fruits Catering, Miss Lily's, IGA, Small Town Barbecue, Articate Bakery, Lambert's Southern Pies, The Pole Guys, Single Barrel Events, and so much more. All at Little Arrow Outdoor Resort in Townsend, Tennessee, my backyard. But today, we're here for a special event, and it is the Food Truck Fest. I've got my little band on, yes, I do, and you are cordially invited to join me today as we walk through the Food Truck event. This is going to be fun. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. It's a great place. It's fun. It's very festive. And what I like about it is I might try some of the food. I might actually do that um, just to see what it tastes like, to see what these guys have here. So let's, uh, let's look around and see what they got. This is the entrance way. It's a $5 entrance fee, and then, of course, you pay your, um, your money for whatever you eat. And I'm sure there's a lot of that. Very nicely done. Here's a little bit of the view. Now they got a little playground for the kids right here in the front, but this thing goes on for quite a ways. This is not a very small park. It is big, very nice. It's already matured, so it's not one of the newer places. It's It's got nice full trees, um, uh, ma majestic pines, uh, fully matured trees, so you're going to find a lot of shade here. This should be a lot of fun. Let's walk around. looking around there's all sorts of food trucks from all over the nation and they all have their own little brand which has got to be a lot of fun too I don't know this is kind of interesting this is different 
And of, co of course, you got merchandise and waffly good. Let's walk around and see what they got to offer here. Daddy O's. Nice and festive looking. The cheese wagon. Rhea's Edy, eating REO outdoors. Rita's eating outdoors. Knox Vittles food truck. Got hog dogs. It's really nicely laid out. It's very cozy here. I like the maturity of this place. It's it's not like sitting out in the hot sun all the time. Burns and the bees. They got honey soda, blueberry ginger, hibiscus grape. But some of that stuff is tasty. It smells really good here. Really, really good. CJ's Tacos, rooftop taco delivery. See, that's a new thing that's going on. A lot of these trucks, a lot of these food trucks, they travel to wherever the events are or wherever your event is. And you can hire them. They do all the cooking. They do all the serving. And you just pay the bill and that's it. You don't got to clean it up. You don't got to cook it. I like that idea a lot. This one here is Chuck's Concessions. Kaiman tea. That's interesting. I want a Kai, some free samp. Kai tea. Very interesting. That's Chinese tea. Let's talk. And of course, they got nice stuff. Never had Kai tea. Alright. What's it like? tea or the festival? Uh, okay, both. Let's talk. <laughs> Tea's pretty good. Festival's pretty nice. My first time here. You ever have Kai tea before? I have. And it, how does it fit and match up to your taste buds? Uh, I like it because it's a little bit like milk tea. It's yeah, just my it's exactly. Here. It's your first time here. What do you think? I love it. You love Did you go to the playground yet? Yeah, I, I, did, I did it, but we couldn't have a spin a lot of time there because I'm so hungry. Uh oh, he's hungry. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's awesome. I like love food trucks. Like if we're driving and there's a food truck, I'll like chase it around. Yeah. They're always different, aren't they? Yes. I and it's not like a restaurant because you know it was just cooked. Yeah. And and most likely it's tasty, right? Usually. I, I love food trucks. It's great. How about you, Quiet? Her name is Danny. What? Hi, Danny. Oh, hi. What am I? How do you like yeah. it so far? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> Amazing when you put a camera in front of somebody's face, they just clam up, right? Yeah. That's very good. Have you had the tea? Yes. And? It's not really my style, but it's good. It's different. Kai tea is very different. So good. It's an, uh, um, a learned taste. It's not like your normal tea. It's Chinese. What do you think, Mom? I love it. It's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it's really and did good. he try it? Did you try any? No, no, I just eat too much food and I still <laughs> eat. Yep, he's he's holding out for he's holding out for food for the good stuff. Yeah, he's I don't ready blame for you. A burrito or a... Oh, oh yeah, big thick burrito. I eat everything. I never tried Brussels sprouts, but I still want to eat everything. Yeah. Henry, <laughs> try Brussels sprouts. Even They're very these good. Food trucks. Even the food trucks. You want to eat the I food want trucks? like one of them. In these whole entire places. I'll eat anything that doesn't eat me first, so <laughs> I'll try anything. Yeah. Yeah. You got to. And how do you know if it's good or not? Exactly. You got to try it. At least yeah. once. At least try everything at least once. And if you don't like it, go, I didn't like that. Or I really love that. I never tried that before. Right? I just eat everything in my <laughs> I love that. You're on Vacation Station TV. Oh, Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, where's my girl over here? She's in front. Okay. I want to try the Kai tea here. Oh, absolutely. And your name is? Erica. 
Erica, how are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Now, this is homemade chai tea. Chai tea. Chai tea. Yes, sir. I'm married to a Chinese. She calls it chai. She calls it chai. Chai. Chai, yes, chai. I know. You're not Chinese. Mm. That is a nice, put this on it, a nice bouquet. Very chai chai. It's instant, so you just boil water and yeah. stir. Yeah. Everything's already included. I'm used to the the real leaf stuff, which is, it gets, it smells nasty at first. Have you ever boiled real chai chai? Yeah. It's, wow, that's potent. And then very you, strong. very strong. But this is good for instant. Now this is Lulu Liquor Cake? It is. All right, tell me who is Lulu. So my mom's name is Laura, so we got Lulu from that. Mm -hmm. And then we just make homemade scratch cakes with alcohol baked into them. Okay. And we make over 50 flavors. 50 flavors. Yeah, so name off some of the cool, uh, most popular flavors. Okay, um, so we've got a bourbon vanilla that we do with either Buffalo Trace or Ooh. King's Family Distillery Bourbon. Okay. And then we have our pineapple upside down with Tennessee Hills pineapple upside down flavored rum. Our strawberry margarita, which I actually can show you one of those. Uh, this is our strawberry margarita. We use fresh strawberries. Oh, it looks good. And then we just pour a regular tequila in it. Our birthday cake with pinnacle cake vodka is very popular. So pretty much after you have one of these, you, uh, do you also give a card for Betty Ford? Here, Betty Ford Alcohol Center, <laughs> Rehab Center. I do not. Uh, you should. do not, but you really <laughs> should. How many flavors, all in all? Um, roughly, we're looking at maybe 58 so far. Wow. Now they can buy these. Are uh, this is a sampler pack? This is our sampler pack. It right has here. the birthday cake, the strawberry margarita, the chocolate caramel, and our bourbon vanilla. You get four two-ounce jars to kind of test out some of our most popular ones. And let's say they go and sit down and try them, they want to buy a cake. Yes. What do they do? They just come up here, they have tons to choose from. Um, and then I just hand them a cake and a spoon. And you take the money and go? Yep. And that's it. <laughs> and they have a good time? They do. Um, we bake it out, so they just kind of get a warmth from it, but that's about it. So it's nice. If they want to order these, can they? They can. On our website, we do shipping. We do our local delivery in Knoxville because we are based out of Powell. Um, and we do full-size birthday cakes. Oh, really? Well. Yes. We are actually working on a wedding cake for today. Wouldn't you like to go to that party? Exactly. <laughs> After a couple of pieces of cake, everybody's dancing with, a, with something on their head. Yes. A shade or whatever, right? <laughs> And it's at Lulu Liquor Cakes. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's interesting. The Lulu Liquor Cake. I like it. There's another nice food truck here. This is big, too. This is big. It's got all the outside lighting on it. Oh, it smells good. Whatever is coming out of that truck. Dragon. So whatever it is they're cooking smells so good. Oh, that, whatever that is, I think I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> it smells really, really good. Some really neat trucks, and they all have their own little style about them. They all have their little print, their hand print. Um, this one here is Wonder Woman Eats. Wonder with us. Wonder Woman Eats. Hello. They've got campfire nachos. Let me see if I get this without the sun in my eyes. Campfire nachos. Tortilla chips with black bean uh, chili, shredded cheese, lettuce, onions, tomatoes, tangy sweet sauce, strawberry a uh, is grebel. I never had what is a grebel? Delicious baked dough topped with fresh puree strawberries with uh, whipped cream and cinnamon sugar. Oh, that sounds pretty interesting. Strawberry salad, crisp heritage lettuce topped with pecan strawberries, feta. Oh, I love feta cheese. Hemp seeds, shelled. Um, slivered red onions and a creamy poppy dressing. Very nice. Very interesting. Nice truck. The aluminum. I like that. 
This is what's going on on the uh, truck fest. This is kind of interesting. Pistol Creek Eats. Established 2020 barbecue from Maryville, Tennessee, just up the street a ways. Very nice truck. Got it all. Everything is all decked out. Very good. All right. Tell me about Pistol Creek Eats. Yeah, man, we just do, uh, we specialize in barbecue. We're uh, local to Maryville, and uh, yeah. What do you serve? I have pulled pork, I've got uh, sausage, jalapeno sugar sausage, uh, smoked chicken, and of course you gotta have nachos. Yeah, well that, that's a must when you have a truck. I mean, that's just yeah. part, that, that's already, when you buy it, the nachos are in the truck. Yeah, if I didn't have nachos, they burn my truck down. <laughs> <laughs> and your nachos are pulled pork, queso with tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, and barbecue sauce. Only 10 bucks. And what type of plate does it come in? Those sausages look good. Oh, thanks, man. Uh, it comes in, uh, here, show one of the boxes. I want to show the people what they're going to well, get. There's nothing in it, just chips. But oh, I just want to see what it looks like. Yeah, it'll be like that. Look at that. And then, of course, all the stuff goes on the top. All the goodies. <gasps> Very good. Now, you're here for just one day, right? Yes, sir. And where do you go from here? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, what's the next event? Uh, you know, I uh, just stay lo local. You know, like okay. next week I'll be at the Maribel Co-op. Okay. And uh, be at Tri Hop Brewery. Very so, good. Yeah. This is what you do. Yes, sir. It's a great life, isn't it? Yes, it is. It really, it frees you up to be who you are. That's right. And creative. And very creative. Yes, very sir. good. You're on Vacation Station no, TV. No, no. Oh, sorry. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you go. The nachos look good. I'll probably be back for those nachos when I'm ready to eat. But I gotta. I want to get the video in while I can still get the video. <laughs> and once I'm distracted by the food. Okay, just cause cakes. They got lots of good stuff here. I see they even have coffee too. That's good. They got lemon cake with lemon icing, vanilla cake with strawberry icing, orange cake with vanilla icing, strawberry cake with white chocolate icing. Oh man, all the stuff I can't have. Red velvet cake, these are their specialities. Red velvet cake with white chocolate icing, pistachio cake with pistachio icing, Reese's oh, and chocolate cake, peanut butter icing. That'd probably be the one I would go for. And then they got coffee, Southern Grace, two bucks. Very, very reasonable and a water bottle for a buck. Hi kids. Hi. Very good. Now this is Crafted Jolt. Coffees, milkshakes, slushes, lemonade, teas, and pastries. They got a lot of cool stuff here. And kind of like a sitting area. I'm, yeah, this is a sitting area. You can kind of just hang out and eat your foods. I like that. That's very nice that they do that. Mixed berry sundae jumbo chip cookie with cereal milk. Be a kid again, guys. Strawberry fusion and dirty Dr. Pepper. You can't miss this place. Right past the Heritage Museum. And all the tubing places. This is the place to come tubing. Townsend is the place if you want to go tubing or rafting or kayaking or canoeing. This is the place to come. Townsend is really the only place that has the uh, options that you can have more than just one thing to do. You can do canoeing, you can do kayaking, you, you can do tubing, you can do um, swimming. It's all here right on the river. Can't miss it. It's a lot of fun. There's another airstream. There's one of the teardrops, the Max. And nice little areas too. They're not crowded. There's so many places that are crowded. And this is not, you got your own little lawn, you got your fire pit, you got a hot tub, and you got an airstream. Mm, wonderful. Old Tennessee Distilling Company, right out of Sevierville, Tennessee. Hi. Tell me about Old Tennessee. All right, we're located in Sevierville, right yeah. off the 407 exit. We brought some stuff for you to drink today. Are you old enough? Uh, you ain't old enough. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. Thank, well, we thank you some, for the compliment. Uh, we brought a watermelon spritzer, a blackberry lemonade, a peach tea. Wow. We also brought our watermelon moonshine, peach, blackberry, lemon. Uh, you're moving too fast, girl. <laughs> Look at that. Now, you can buy these right here. You can. We also have a gold medal wearing corn whiskey, Ooh. a blueberry oh, cream, and a honey peach cream. 
And a lot of people love this stuff. They come to here just for your moonshine. I, I mean, know they that. have been here. We were here last time, and we had a great time. It was wonderful. And a great turnout. It did, we did. Now, is there any opportunity? Is this thing going to turn into a two-day event anywhere or at any time soon? Um, here, I'm not sure. I know they had some VIPs, I think, yesterday mm -hmm. at the food truck festival, but I was not here. <laughs> no, you know, that's okay. You don't want to hot knob there. Um, but it's here one day only. Yep. On a Saturday, first Sat. Is it always the first Saturday of May? Is that I'm, how they? I'm not sure. This is my second time being here. Okay. So. <laughs> but at least you know, great day. Most of the rain is gone by May first. That's Hopefully what's nice gone. about the. Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Don't worry about that. And you, if people want to come in and they buy, do you also ship where you are at your place? Um, we ship to local liquor stores. We cannot ship to your house. <laughs> because it's liquor, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because it's liquor. Mail trucks don't like to carry that. No. Why not? Uh, well, high proof stuff can explode if it gets too hot, so. <laughs> can, but how, what's the octane in these things, the proof? Um, well, my strongest one I brought today is 100 proof. My four <laughs> moonshines are 60 proof, and then my two creams are 34 proof. 100 proof? It's good for you. Good it's for the car, the too. Uh, I put some of that in my gas tank. It won't, Guys, won't stutter. Table, come on out. It won't stutter. No, it won't. No. You just fill yours up? <laughs> Neither will I. Maybe I'll stutter. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. What's up, guys? Wonderful. Hello. 100 proof. My goodness gracious. That's amazing. All right. What else is there? <laughs> so, these guys are fun. All right. Yes, I'm coming over to you. Myrtle's Bakehouse. Myrtle's Bakehouse. Where's Myrtle from? And who is Myrtle? Myrtle. Myrtle's my grandmother. Ah, oh, what a yeah. cool, very good. Yeah. Does she, did she live to actually know this? No, 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 she passed away about eight years ago. Well, she knows now. Ago. Yeah, 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 she for sure. Now. Tell me about Myrtle's. So, we're a cookie shop. We're opening in Knoxville next year in the old Kearns Bakery. It was built in 1938. They're turning it into a food hall. Landmark so, that. Yeah, we'll be one of the um, uh, vendors inside the food hall. Very good. Yeah, so right now, our cookie shop, Myrtle, we only do things like this. You have to follow us to find us. Right. And we do half a pound, nearly half a pound cookies. Show and me the cookies. Yeah. Oh. It's, uh, there's some good ones right here. I didn't focus in on these, but Beautiful right here. guys, listen to me. If you like cookies, ladies and gentlemen, that is, I want to get it at a different angle. <laughs> that is one heck of a chocolate chip cookie. Double, two, two different types of chocolate and sea salt. And sea, oh, what a good combination that is. Chocolate chips and sea salt. That's got to weigh a half a pound of yep. cookie there. And then I see, looks like... Oh, M the monster. The, <laughs> the monster yeah, cookie. Dark chocolate M&M's and Oreos. Look at all, and it's got an eye. It two eyes. An eye. There's an eye in there. <laughs> ah, my wife, although she loves anything with eyes. So there you go. And that looks like a... Cheesecake stuff, key lime glazed cookie. Call it South Florida. South Florida cookie. Today's the first day we've ever had that one. Really? Yep. And why today? We tried different ones out once in a while. Do you really? We tried really? the monster out two weeks ago. People loved it. So. Oh, how could, what's there not to love? I know, right? <laughs> Come on, look at all that chocolatey <laughs> goodness in there. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, and we own a donut shop, so we're dual purpose today. Oh, my we goodness. we got to check out this uh, yeah, maple please. bacon. Look, maple bacon donuts? Like pancakes and bacon. Oh, I could imagine it's good. <laughs> and you all make you cook them? I'd like to think that I cook them, but no. No. I just, I just give them out to the people. Do you cook, cook them? I do make them. You're the cook. You're yeah. the donut donut cookie man. I am. Yeah. This is my own cookie recipe. Is it really? Well, not not Myrtle's. Not Myrtle's. These are uh, barbecue Korean barbecue, Asian something. It, uh, there's fusion. There's Japanese fusion, and uh, I think she's going to like these very much. Very, very affordable, very fairly priced indeed. Um, it, it's definitely well worth taking the family to. Freshly made right there. They make it right in front of your face. And it's not coming out of some kitchen. You don't know what's going on. And you just look at it and you can see how good that is. So I wanted you to see that. That's what I got. So Miss Marie should be happy. She won't give me any grief. She'll get to eat these cool tacos and this... Uh, the nachos, oh, so good, so good. All that happened here today at the 2021 Food Truck Fest in Townsend, Tennessee.